Hello and welcome to Trending, the week's most popular social media news, brought to you by thedrum.co.uk and Umph. Twitter has denied reports that it's about to be bought by Google for £6 billion. Speaking at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Twitter chief executive Dick Costolo dismissed the takeover talk as just a rumour. But potential suitors would have been impressed by Costolo's claim that Twitter is now regularly carrying 130 million tweets a day. That's up from 100 million at the end of last year. One company that could be on the verge of acquisition is TweetDeck. The UK-based firm, whose free software for Twitter users has been downloaded more than 20 million times, is believed to be the subject of a £19 million offer from California's Uber Media. Both parties have been coy about the deal, but commentators say it could be completed next month. Next, is Facebook making you depressed? A new study from Napier University claims the more Facebook friends you have, the more stressed you'll feel. Here's the Drums editor, Gordon Young, to tell us more. Napier University in Edinburgh has done some really fascinating research into whether or not Facebook uh, makes you anxious. And what they've discovered is it really does make you anxious if you have more too many friends. So basically, the more friends you have, the more anxious you become. Now, at some levels, this is very trivial, uh, but on other levels, it's very interesting for marketers because although Facebook is undoubtedly an absolutely powerful tool when it comes to marketing, there, uh, there's, some, there's also some hidden dangers there. And these dangers really have to be understood if we're going to get the most out of this uh, new medium. Footballers have been warned to watch what they say online. The Football Association has told its star players they could face disciplinary action for making candid comments on social networking sites. The warning comes after Arsenal's Jack Wilshere and former Liverpool winger Ryan Babel took to Twitter to criticise referees. Babel was fined £10,000 for posting a Photoshop of referee Howard Webb wearing a Manchester United kit. And finally, after seven years apart, Ken and Barbie have rekindled their romance thanks to social media. Ken wooed his former squeeze with a series of Facebook messages as part of a Valentine's campaign by toy maker Mattel. Barbie told USA Today the plastic pair were made for each other. That's all for now. Join us for another bulletin next week. And until then, keep up to date with all the latest digital and social media news at thedrum.co.uk.